Hey. Someone told Mayor. Also, there's a mouse in here. Welcome to that new, new Demolition Ranch location. If you haven't seen it, go check out the Off The Ranch channel where we found the best new location to make these videos and set them up. And we are here today for the very first Demolition Ranch video in the very new, new Demolition Ranch. This is where we're gonna be filming pretty much all of our videos from here on out because it's the best dang place in the entire world. As you guys know, here on Demolition Ranch, we do the most relevant pop culture test with guns for your enjoyment. And we're doing just that today. You guys may have heard of this movie. It's a new shoot 'em up. I think it's probably out of theaters by now and back on the VHS tapes, because it's actually very old. This movie came out when I was little. I think it's a 90s movie. Ever heard of it? Lethal Weapon. It's one of those. I think it was Lethal Weapon 4. I don't know if they made 4, but I feel like it was Lethal Weapon 4. In this movie, the protagonist, who is Mel Gibson, also known as Riggs, he arrests this guy off the street. Well, first, some they've been seeing some people using armor penetrating bullets. He arrests this guy off the street. He takes his gun finds out that this kid has cop killer bullets, armor penetrating bullets in his gun. So they're trying to figure out where they're getting these bullets from. So he saves the gun and then goes through the rest of the story. Fast forward to the construction site scene of the movie. Riggs is at a construction site and he's fighting all these bad guys with his partner Danny Glover and they're just dropping bad guys left and right. Ah, bam, bam, bam. But then the boss comes in. And as you guys know, bosses are super scary and mean and really hard to kill. Riggs gets knocked to the ground like this. The boss gets in a bulldozer just like this. And Riggs is like, not a problem. Pew, pew, ding, ding, pew, 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 ding, ding, pew, pew, ding, ding. I'm out of ammo. None of the bullets are going through. But then his buddy Danny tossing the bad guy gun with the cop killer bullets. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. They all go through. They penetrate the bucket. They kill the bad guy. The movie is over. Good guys won. I want to see if that's possible. So I've got this. It's a giant bucket. I think it came off of an excavator. I'm not really sure, but I got it off Craigslist. It has a couple little rusted through spots, but most of it's solid and looks totally fine. Very heavy. It weighs about a thousand pounds. You can see that that is some super thick metal on all the edges. They're all beefed up big time, but this part actually looks kind of thin. So I'm not sure if bullets We'll go through that or not. We're gonna try going through the thin single sheet layer and the big thick edges to see what a bulldozer or excavator bucket, whatever this may be, I'm not, I'm not really sure. You guys who know more can tell me if that is off a dozer or a backhoe or an excavator. That'd be a pretty big backhoe, but I'm not sure. We, uh, we got a big bucket though. We're gonna shoot it and see how bulletproof it is. Also, I'm shooting it backwards because the way they shot it in the movie was this way. But my thought is if I shoot it, it might just make that bullet curve and come straight back at me. So we are going to shoot today at this side so it hits either flat metal or angled metal away from me and does not, you know, just turn that bullet straight back at me. I think it's only fitting to make the first gun similar to the gun he was shooting. This is a Beretta chambered in nine millimeter. And let's see what it does. Did it even dent it? It did not. Wow. So that nine millimeter, that was a full metal jacket, which is as good at penetrating as you can do. Hit right there and did not even dent it. And this is the thinnest spot of this bucket. So, so far the movie's correct. Now I don't know what kind of armor piercing cop killers they had because I think that was a make-believe bullet in the movie. So we're just gonna do our normal increasing caliber until we make it through this thing. All right, Benelli M4. We're actually gonna shoot one of these PDX ones. This is, it's got a little slug and I think a little, some, some buckshot in it as well. So this has a lot of power. We'll see if it does anything to that. Looks like it did the same thing. Yeah, looks exactly the same. So I think our main one hit there. And I mean, you can tell it hits here and then it kind of spreads out, went that way, went that way. Nothing's even denting, maybe a dent, I don't know. 
not much. We do have armor piercing incendiary 12 gauge rounds. Let's see what that does. I don't think it armor penetrated anything. It did actually put a dent in it this time. I didn't see a flash either, but that one actually did dent the metal, but also did not go through. Apparently, hide behind a bulldozer bucket. You'll be fine. <sighs> 500 Magnum. You guys keep asking Matt, where's the 500 Magnum? Did you finally break it or sell it? No, I just hate it. I just don't like shooting it. But kind of want to see what it'll do to this. And I have the old 700 grain projectile. It's so big and it hurts so bad to shoot. All right. Oh, will it go through? That's the question. Jeez. I love it. This is fun, guys. Ow. God. Nothing. Right there. Another dent. You can see it splatted and shot all directions. The rust is kind of knocked off all around it. A lot of it went that way. Hit that, but did not go through. I'm fine. It's fine. What about 357 Magnum? This is out of our Henry Suppressed. <laughs> Woo! I like this thing. Yeah! All right, can I hit all five? <laughs> Woo! This is it, Matt. This is it, that one's really moving. <laughs> Woo! All right, now what about a strike? <laughs> okay, uh, let's get back to the video. All right, going at the bucket. 357 Magnums are moving very fast, so I thought there might be a chance, but it's... It's not looking like it went through. I think I actually hit it right there on the other one. Nothing though. It's time to move up to rifle calibers. This is the Desert Tech MDR. And last time you saw this gun, I had the 308 barrel in there. I have since put the 556 barrel in there. And so it is gonna be shooting a 556. Same ammo that an AR-15 shoots. I think this one will go through it. Oh yeah. Right through, dang, check that out. And on the inside, yep. Hello, that was a cool echo. Yeah, 5.56, five, not a problem to the steel. Now what about on the really hard edge up here, the really thick edge? All right, I'm gonna try to shoot the top edge now. We'll see what happens. There's our hole, but it did not go all the way through. And you can see right here at the bottom of the thick part is he bolts on the inside. It was actually pretty close to coming through. Okay, let's try something a little heavier. What about the good old AK-47? Chambered in 7.62 by 39. So it's a heavier hitting round, more knockdown power, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to go through that top. I hit a little high, let me aim a little lower. Hit, hit, barely a scratch. Dang, okay, I see you. For the next round, how about the fan favorite? The old M1 Garand. This is chambered in 30 6 Same size bullet as that 308, but going way faster. So, I think a 30 6 is going through it. This thing's a powerhouse. Whoa, maybe not. Look, I know I've let you guys down because you didn't get that satisfying ding when the clip flies out. I actually forgot to bring a clip for the Garand down here, so I had to just single load it in there. My apologies. Uh, if I edit in a ding sound, will that help? Here's where it hit and barely made a dent. Jeez, that is a 30 6 That thing has so much power coming through there, but it is not enough to get through the edge of that bucket. Maybe I have something that is enough. The 50 BMG out of the Barrett M82 A1. Let's see if we can get through that bucket. <laughs> I don't think it made it through. You son of a gun. Dang, look at that. Okay, okay, well, let's crank it up one more notch. This is an armor-piercing incendiary tracer. So, we are gonna see if we can actually get through this thing. Firing! Oh yeah, definitely trimming some trees today. Just like barely scratches it. What the heck, man? This thing is so strong. Okay, so the only thing I can think is it is at an angle. 
What if we shoot it a little more flat maybe? It might go through. This should do the trick completely flat. We're gonna back up a little further now since we are not at an angle and see what we can do. I don't wanna talk about it. We're still working on the range, guys. Oh, I need to show you. This is a, uh, a black tip armor penetrating round. This one has the most penetrating power, I think, out of all of them. All right, let's see what we got. That was easy. I totally didn't collapse this thing as soon as I shot. <laughs> What's up now? <laughs> As you can see, I penetrated the impenetrable bucket. And our boss, yeah, he's gone. Next time you are in a construction site shootout and you're on the boss level, just know to get through the boss bulldozer, you're gonna have to get you some AP rounds and get through that armor. Thank you so much. Comment below what old school video you wanna see us test out the shooting scenes in next. Down below, thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hawk? Ish.